Hello everybody, welcome back to the Copenhagen Suborbitals Rocket Shop. We're here in late July and we're having a bit of a Christmas moment. Um, we got a very, very nice package from Germany, from one of our main sponsors, Herring. And they provided a couple of hundred of very neat, tiny parts. These are all parts for the swirl injectors we are gonna try and uh, use in our uh, big BPM-100 engine for the speaker rocket. And we just uh, received a, a sample, a couple of hundred samples, which we're gonna install in BPM-5 injectors. So we're gonna try and validate this uh, technology uh, on the BPM-5 engine before we scale it up to the BPM-100 engine. So we just received the package and uh, right here behind me we're doing uh, incoming inspection of these parts. Um, they have to be quite accurate to make sure we get this right. A little uh, deviation in tolerances here and there can distort the flow inside these delicate elements here and then result in a uh, spray pattern which, which basically doesn't go like we want it to. So, um, we're taking some careful uh, inspection here using microscopes and other uh, precision measurement instrumentation so that we can make sure that they are uh, burr free and that we don't have clocking of the injector holes and so forth. So, but right now we haven't gone that far into the uh, into this shipment yet, but so far it's looking really good. So, uh, a big thanks from here to, to Herring, first off, because this is some of the critical technologies that will help us on our way towards speaker. So besides the inspection we're doing here now, and you can probably hear in the background, the work on the end caps for the, uh, for the speaker rocket propellant tanks are continuing. I think John, he's done with the third one, probably working on, on the fourth by now. So once those, all four of those end caps are done, then we will start the very interesting and intriguing process of welding them to these large one meter diameter uh, cylindrical sections, ending up with real propellant tanks when we're done. The DSC rip is also coming very nicely along. That's a, uh, a long-term project that basically started with a burned out engine uh, uh, about a year ago um, and that has basically prompted a major overhaul of this uh, DSC rip so we are in lately we're just installing new uh, exhaust hoses uh, all the hydraulic tubing and fittings are receiving inspection for corrosion and the, the work is progressing really well, so we're looking forward to get it back in, in the water and, uh, and taking a very much awaited test drive in this very nice boat. Um, Bianca is working a little bit on her, um, her little uh, test rig, which is uh, basically a, sort of a generic test rig usable for checking uh, some elements of guidance and control. So that's, uh, that's uh, another instrument we can have here, both for ourselves, but also for some of these uh, master students we take occasionally here in CS. So there's a lot of things coming together these days. Um, and hopefully the next part we'll get ourselves it really into will be the propellant tank welding. Copenhagen Suborbitals is a non-profit, all-volunteer project. We all work for free in our spare time. And the reason why we can make all this happen is because of the help from all you people around the world. So please click on the link and go to our website and sign up as a Copenhagen Suborbital supporter because it's all the small monthly donations from all you rocket fans from all over the world that makes this amazing project possible. Thank you.